Back at Hot Topic. Seth versus Wagner. This ought to be interesting. I still like Wagner's outfit. I don't really care much for like the shorts. Like, just have full leggings. That's the only thing that's really questionable. Questionable about it. Gotta have that, uh, the Tyreyuki. Right. That's, that's, got, that's like grade, grade B, perhaps. I don't know about grade A. I'm not sure how the, how the scale works. Mm, me neither. I just know that, like, 2B is at the top of that scale. <laughs> Another game that I have, which I have not yet played. If I was put on this earth to play a certain number of video games, I am so far behind I will never die. I seem to have had a pretty, pretty easy time of playing through Spider-Man. You did finish that one awfully quick. 100%ed in everything, but I also did play nothing but that. Hmm, true. I like to go back and forth between games as whim strikes. Yeah, I have to just stick with one thing until I finish it, and then I can move on to the next, because otherwise I'll never get to get around to doing anything. That's not a bad way to do it. Also because not every game has a uh, s plot synopsis option. Also true. And that's why I never finished Chrono Cross. <laughs> I rented it once, and then rented it again like a year and a half later, and I've gotten pretty far into disc 2. And when I rented it again, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I literally have no idea what's going on. Like, stuff is happening, but it has no relevancy or context, or... Like, it's just happening. I'm witnessing it. Well, she kind of kicked your ass there. I guess I don't really have a grasp, full grasp on Seth's, uh... Seth's moveset. You're doing pretty good for a bit. My gameplay style is basically how close do they play to a Shoto character. <laughs> and go from there. Which and makes games like Guilty Gear and such difficult to remember because they have all these wacky ass inputs. Yeah. The few times I have tried to pick up and play a fighting game, it just turned into me mashing buttons frantically. <laughs> to say nothing of, like, Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue's tendency to have EX characters whose move lists they don't actually, you know, list at all. Huh. Meanwhile, cross take battle goes in like a literal opposite direction and reduces everybody's moveset to like two attacks, basically, more or less. Kind of uh, dumbed it down a bit, huh? Qu quarter circle forward, bleh, quarter circle forward motion, and quarter circle back. Huh. So it's like the smash of actual fighting games. You got your Hadouken motion and you got your Tatsumaki motion. Few characters even have a down down attack button one. But that's like... That's generally a melty blood thing more than any of anything anybody else. Right. 
優しいな、ヤトの姫、リンネ。うつろの夜のここに来れば、お前に会えると、淡い期待を抱いて。Ladies and gentlemen, Seth, do you have a point besides the one on your head? Please get to the point. I'm pretty sure Lene was actually like taller than Seth last time they saw him. We saw each other. So, how, how do they know each other exactly? Seth was part of the same clan. Ah. I was really caught up in that whole bee and beat in the clan thing, I guess. I see. My duty. Still, a guy who takes his job seriously. The chair is gone, man. Bitch, I'm like 200 years old. Don't give me this small shoulders and resting nap time stuff. I will cut you. Maybe. Nobody ever really kills anybody in this game except for Wagner. Yeah, kind of noticing that. And I guess Merkava, who only really kills Hilda and eats her. And Byakuya, who eats, also eats people. But most people generally don't really kill anybody. So what was that line of his about sibling rivalry? Um, are these two, like, siblings? Lene's brother has some... Some kind of seal superpower going for him. Whereas Lene has, you know, the curse of immortality. They haven't actually really explained very much of that. Ah. One of those cryptic things. Yeah. Pretty much. Stuff that is just implied more than anything. Right. Bitch, I am 200 years old. Say that to my face, not online. Oh, look, it's this bitch again. That was abrupt. <laughs> what the hell? That pun was terrible, and as soon as I get down, I am going to slap you, silly. See, you're hanging, and also I tied you up pretty tight. Where did he get a futon, though? I don't really know. Oh, 
It is if you use the element of surprise correctly. If everybody's everybody's expecting like an assassin to be in like the rafters or something, like you just walk in through the front doors, shoot who you're supposed to, and then just leave. Yeah. Like, well, that was fun, but gotta go. Bye. And it's direct. It's to the point. It's very. Pro it's a very professional way of doing things. I think. I agree. Such a thing is, in fact, a paradox. <laughs> I am pretty sure, like every other character so far, Hilda, he is going to beat the shit out of you. Are, are you coming on to me? If she's on top, she would be, yes. <laughs> I don't think that's what Seth actually said. Like, they seem to have screwed up subtitles a whole bunch with Hilda. Um, hmm, yeah, I was going to say, it looks like that was just a repeat of Hilda's previous line? I mean, he could have been being smarmy too. That's definitely a possibility. But, uh, yeah. I think there was definitely a translation issue there. She appears to be winning, actually. Yeah, I'm bad at pattern recognition, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> but I think it, I think it works out. Maybe. Leaving me in suspense here. Nope. Nope. She totally kicked your ass. Well, not totally. Okay, she. She won. Si si simply, simply beat me. Ass kicking applies as a totally one-sided affair. Right. Hilda wins. Anyway, too too long. Didn't read. Tied up one A. Yada yada yada. Pick a fight with paradox. Let's go. Walk in, throw your knife at somebody's forehead, and leave. Also, she sh she can shoot shit. So there's that too. I noticed. Um. It's not like shooting shit is any less effective at close range, other than maybe the possibility of stopping it. Which involves a certain level of clairvoyance. Right. Like detecting level hazards in Sonic Unleashed. Yes. Exactly like that. <laughs> Bitch, stop throwing things. More like a shadow projection of some kind. Apparently her stuff used to be like white. Now it's that cool black white. Got that black black look with the weird white glow. So, like everyone, it's, hey Hilda, stop showboating and fucking fight. Pretty much. This woman is insufferable. 
It's basically thick with the best lightsaber and uh, the Force Unleashed, the one that was black. So everybody knows black is the coolest color. I liked the white one in the second game back. That's really like, I guess, photo negative lightsaber. Even if it's feasible, feasibly impossible, it's, it's the future. <laughs> it's light, lightsaber technology. Apparently making a lightsaber can blow your hand clean off, so... You could definitely make one that's like photo negative, I think. Hmm. Come to Seth. Okay, Seth, we're getting mixed signals here. Kinda, yeah. Oh, okay. Just don't think this makes me your girlfriend or anything. Something something joke about hide here. Leaning on the fourth wall, little bear. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. In other news, a small child was found wrapped in a futon and hanging in a tree early this morning. She kept ranting about being a princess of the night blade or something. Poor innocent child. Parents are probably addicts or something. <laughs> anyway, next time on Radical Bromance, more 